Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to cover a very kind of controversial topic, something that I really struggled with when I was just starting out with turtles that I think would be really helpful for you guys to know, and that is what substrates to use for your turtles. Now a substrate is basically whatever you put on the bottom of your turtle tank or tub. It can be anything from sand to gravel to nothing at all. Now, the most popular substrate that there is that people have for their turtle tanks or tubs is gravel. So we're gonna kind of go over the pros and the cons of gravel, let you guys make an informed decision as to what you think the best substrate would be for your turtles. There are a few pros of having gravel in a turtle tub. Uh, first off, it really does look nice. It makes it kind of seem more natural and it's visually appealing. Another thing is that it actually holds a place to store bacteria. It provides surface area for bacteria to grow on, and that is going to help with your filtration in the end. Now, the issue comes with cons. The number one biggest con is that if your turtles are large enough to fit gravel in their mouths, they most of the time will actually eat it and ingest it, and so a lot of people think that this is just a myth. They've never seen it before. Well, I have a little bit of evidence. I just recently saw a Facebook post in which someone had their turtle in with gravel. They picked them out, they put them in a bare bottom tank, and after a couple weeks, there was gravel scattered along the bottom that they had actually passed. And the issue arises when they can't pass the gravel, it becomes an impaction and that will block up their stomachs and you either have to go to the vet or by the time you notice, oftentimes it's too late and your turtle will die. So that is why I personally do not recommend gravel unless it is larger than the turtle's mouth and they can't really fit it in their mouths. Large rocks would be just fine or large pieces of gravel for hatchlings, but once your turtles start to grow and they can fit the gravel in their mouths, they're kind of like toddlers, they will get into trouble and they will try to eat it. Gravel also holds a lot of waste and it will foul up your water very quickly. Um, when turtles kind of produce waste or fish produce waste or there's any uneaten food, what it will do is it will fall down to the bottom and kind of fall between the kind of spaces between the gravel pieces. It will fall down into there and just sit there and rot and really pollute the water. And then you have to kind of keep up uh, with cleaning it if you do decide to keep it. Now this can be nice. It allows your turtles to go in and kind of forage for different things. Now my personal favorite substrate that I would like to go over is sand. Now, a couple pros of sand are that, number one, it's cheap. You can find it pretty much anywhere in any Home Depot. Um, basically any type of sand is okay, as long as there's no clear chemicals in it. Most of the time, all you have to do is rinse it out and you will be good to go. So sand, it's cheap, readily available. It looks really nice and very natural. And I also find that any waste that any of your turtles produce just kind of sits on the top. There's nowhere for it really to go. Uh, there's no space between the sand particles where the, the waste can fall, kind of like gravel. So anything that is produced just kind of stays on the top, making it very easy to clean. Turtles also cannot ingest sand. They can, but most of the time they pass it through, no problem, a lot easier than something like a rock. Now, for some species of turtle, most soft shell turtles will absolutely love you if you put sand in their enclosure. They love to burrow down in it and stick their little heads up. And because their shells are soft, some of them try to do this with gravel or crushed coral, and it just kind of scratches their, their soft shells and it's really not good for them. Something like sand is nice and soft. They can really burrow down in there. It makes them feel nice and they can replicate that natural behavior that they would do in the wild. Some cons of sand are that if you have too thick of a layer of sand at the bottom of your aquarium or tub, you can actually get something called anaerobic bacteria. Anaerobic meaning they're bacteria that thrive without oxygen and therefore they can kind of produce some nasty gases that over time can bubble out 
of the sand and it can actually be toxic to your fish and your turtles. Now, this is needless to say, it takes a long time for that to happen, but it can and does happen occasionally. I find that turtles kick around sand far too much for it to be a real issue, but I thought that I would include it in here. Another issue with sand is that it can kind of take a while to clean out. You need to rinse it and, and make sure that the water runs clear before you add it to your turtle tank. However, once it does start running clear, it'll be cloudy for about a day or two once you add it, but after that time, it usually does clear out. Finally, sand can get in your filters. That is probably the biggest con that there is with sand. It looks great and it's super readily available, cheap and whatnot, but it can clog up your filters. I personally have never had an issue, even with Whisper internal filters where the slits are at the bottom. I have personally not had an issue. What I usually like to do is take the filter and raise it up and put it on top of a rock. That way there's maybe an inch or two of buffer between the filter itself and the sand. You don't wanna put your filter directly in the sand, it will clog up immediately. However, this is a really big issue for some people, especially if your turtles are constantly kicking up the substrate. The final substrate that we're gonna talk about is actually not a substrate at all. It's not having anything in your tank. Now this is the best option. Um, the pros are that you can really easily keep the tank clean. There's nothing to really hold any of the waste in. There's nothing to clog your filters. There's nothing for your turtles to even ingest. So these are all of the kind of good things that, that come with having a bare tank. That's what I use most of the time. But the issue is that it doesn't really look great. Now, that is pretty much the only con that there is, besides maybe your turtles wanting to forage, but even then, there's plenty of ways to get around that, such as hiding food in different decorations or areas of the tank, or giving them live foods to hunt after. Now, personally, the only reason that I use crushed coral, which is kind of like gravel, except it's as the name entails, crushed coral. The only reason that I use that is because diamondback terrapins, which I have, are kind of special. And let me tell you why. They are used to consuming large calcified objects, the clam shells, the shells of snails, the shells of oysters and mollusks. They eat those things in the wild. And so as I talked about in my previous videos, terrapins have these large beaks and they have crush plates in their mouths that they use to crush up food. And these can become overgrown and actually lead to um, hindrance in, in their eating and survival. And so I added crushed coral to my tub for the turtles to kind of forage around in. They'll take this crushed coral in their mouths, chew it up, it grinds their beak and their crush plates down to a manageable level. They spit it back out and then their beaks are nice and trimmed down, their crush plates are, and I don't have to take any action because some people actually have to file down the beaks of their terrapins if they get too overgrown. Terrapins are built to take large objects and consume them and kind of pass them through their digestive tract. Um, they eat crabs, they have those hard exoskeletons of crabs that they eat snail shells. They flush out their digestive tract and basically terrapins are used to having and eating really hard things. Something like a red ear slider, a Mississippi map turtle, or a soft shell turtle, they're not really used to that. The hardest thing that they're gonna eat is probably gonna be a snail or a cricket, and that's just because they're really small and tiny. I don't think a red ear slider would fare very well against something like a crab. So to wrap up really quickly, do not use gravel. I, I just, it's not worth the risk for me. That is what I say. You can take that risk, but I would personally advise against it. If you have gravel, just go in with a net and scoop it all out. Sand, I used it for years, no problems. It looks nice if you keep your turtles in an aquarium, but if you have something like a tub, eh, it's not gonna do too much for you. Also, your soft shells will absolutely love you. You will witness them burrowing. I guarantee you within a week of you adding that sand, they're gonna burrow down, you're gonna see their little heads sticking out. It's adorable. I highly suggest sand for soft shell turtles. A bare bottom aquarium or tub 
is probably the best thing that you can do. You're gonna keep your water quality nice and clear. It's not gonna look the best, but you're guaranteed that your tub or tank will stay pretty much as clean as possible. You can spot clean, which is when you see actual physical pieces of waste that you can just pull out. You're gonna keep your tub and your tank in nice pristine condition. So that is gonna basically do it for this quick little video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of what I am doing, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that I did a good job. Give me a thumbs down if you don't want educational videos. If you guys wanna see more Bean and Pancake and El Tigre, I have a fun little playlist all on my channel on Turtle Basics, which this video will be added to. So thank you all so much again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.